Hi, this is Juliet. Welcome to Giddy Up Art Studio. I had a student who requested a how to draw Darth Vader video. Here we go. We're going to start by drawing four arced lines the top of his helmet. the area above his nose, and the brim of his helmet. Draw two lines flaring outwards. Remember, you can stop, pause, and rewind the video. Draw two parallel lines from the top down to the second arced line. Vader's goggles are oval shaped, so draw two ovals for his eyes. Remember, if this is the first time you're doing this, it's gonna be the hardest time. The next time you'll be even better. I draw three little arched lines above his nose. About an inch below, draw a gumdrop shape, a taller arch that's closed on the bottom. This is where his nose is. His nose creates a triangle with that respirator-like mouth. I draw two circles basically lined up with the center of his goggles. And I connect the dots to make the triangle. If you make some stray marks, don't worry about it. Later we'll be adding highlights or reflections on his helmet and it'll just blend into that. Now draw his chin. Continue the lines down from the circle and draw a straight line across. He has this texture on his chin, so I indicate that simply by just drawing a lot of ovals quickly and next to each other. I need to make his face shape, so I draw lines down from his goggles to the respirator circles. His face is divided up into parts, so I draw four lines radiating from his nose, creating four different triangles. Now I'll draw the inside of the respirator. Four lines down with a line on the top. I indicate his neck from the second radiating line out. Then close off the helmet with a slightly curved line with two shoulder lines emerging from the bottom of that. I extended his helmet line because it looked a little short and then added another line on the outside of that to indicate where the helmet was curved.
Darth Vader's helmet is black and very reflective. Drawing white on black helps to create the illusion of reflectiveness. Throughout this drawing, I thicken my lines and add larger fields of whiteness to indicate light reflecting off of his bad self. Follow along for some of the marks I make to imitate reflectiveness. The important thing to do is to experiment and have fun. For more ideas and information, visit giddyupartstudio.com.